Okay, guys, hope everyone is doing well. As you can probably hear, I'm sick on my end. Body is sick. Mind, mind is okay, though. But, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to talk too much. Just to give context, we're going to try a new build uh, on this gaming session. Uh, and I need to give credit where credit is due. And this guy is Bocap. You might know or not know Bocap. He's a French Trinomir player. Uh, he streams and creates content uh, often in French, though. And so first, like the runes changed, and I think that move speed rune is a bait unless you like absolutely need it. Um, and everyone is very very sloppy. But like here, for example, Camille, I'm gonna be able to hit her consistently. Same for Hecarim. Uh, so I don't think I need the movement speed and and. You are already dropping armor or magic resist. So dropping armor and magic resist plus dropping 9 eight, like adaptive early, it makes your laning phase so shit. And fridging is now a meme rune, so you wanna go second wind revitalize. Most likely. Uh, I think you can go second wind demolish as well. Uh, if you have a very easy matchup. <laughs> And then regarding the builds, um, let me just switch my scene. Regarding the build, uh, we're gonna start building PD again. Or at least like just trying it, you know? Uh, they changed PD's build path and its components are now pretty good to purchase. And well, that's a good thing because Trinomir you want to spike as hard as possible and the spikes that you get when you're building either Rageblade second or building Davori second are not as good as the spikes that you can get now by building uh, PD second. Because now Zeal is uh, part of PD again so you get that extra movement speed that helps you compensate for the fact that people might have it in runes. Um, and also there's another component that gives movement speed, it's like, it's like a lot of movement speed basically. And if he faces a tank, he goes he goes PD Rage Blade, uh Kraken Rage Blade. I mean We could argue that I got juked. But I could also argue that at least I close his options, you know? If he went that way, he was dead. Wait. I'm ghosting. Why am I so slow? Yeah, guys. I, I, I'm i sick. The gameplay is not gonna be... It's, might not be insane. Still not an excuse, though. I mean, it's not too bad. I have to be careful though, because Sekarim could be looking to do a... Uh, three camps into top. Yeah, that, that should be enough. To be dominant in top lane. As you can as you can ex expect, guys, as I am pretty sick, I'm not gonna talk that much. And I'm just gonna try to focus. So let's see. The way he's pushing to me. Hacker is gonna be bot hundred percent. Should have altered her. Wait. I just win that. 
I have two bees though. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the wave is not the, it's not the best, but I mean I got the kill, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, at least the trade kill. And most likely oh, never mind. Or well, even if Kane doesn't get the kill, at least he gets a lot of stacks. Or dies. Or gets a lot of stacks. Okay, so let's think about it. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's it's a good game to test it. It's a good game to go Kraken, Kraken PD, and then third, will I need Navari or not in this game? Well. I mean, I don't feel like there's many games where I wouldn't want to be on Navari, though. As a third item. Because what he does also sometimes is like, he just goes straight up uh, Rage Blade. And AE. And he just like, skips, skips Navari. Okay, we can play for these. Something that I can look to do. the best execution made it was like i get the crash i can i can look to invade hegarim on on golems or just like make them waste time and give space for grubs but hegarim was already like done with golems and then i thought about flashing uh, camille's e so i'm high in hp and i can stay and play but then my brain was slow Still, the outcome is pretty good. I'm 15 CS up. We got kill plus double assist on Fizz. And they just get a kill plus assist. And we end up getting grubs. And they get Drake, but they have bot prior anyway, so most likely they would get Drake. I can probably hmm. Let me do a little trick here I don't think I can go for it. like I mean I can take this red buff but it's gonna take forever and it's not guaranteed because like they, they haven't done drake yet so they might just not be on drake okay he was but even like okay let's say i'm on drake well i would be finishing it by now because it's so hard to to invade these days okay this play i, I really don't like it by kane because now he's going but it's too late Okay, well, Hecarim is, is going mid, but Hecarim could have very much went... Uh... Could I have Chaser and kill her? I mean, I would miss so, so much. 
Like he could have just based after Drake and went back into his top side, and then it's a, like a smite battle for. Red buff. Okay, well I have a big at 8 advantage now. But she actually didn't base after crashing for some reason. Maybe she was covering her or checking her top camps. Now I can just dive her. I think she's dead here. No way Hikarim is going back top right. Right. He knows he doesn't have camps, right? I mean, I know that he knows. Let's take a safe B. I'm, I'm, I'm way too slow on those purchases. Okay, there's grabs in a minute. I can pay those. I'm stronger than Camille. I would have ult just like not long after. I don't think they get Dove. Let's go. Gain. Do you need to hit that plant? Thank you for whoever on YouTube gave me the, the, the tip to wait for the little baby grubs to be 0 HP, Q first, and then, and then E through them and get all of my fury back. I didn't think about that by myself. Yeah. Guys, do not hesitate to teach me things. If you see anything. If you see anything that you know for a fact that I'm doing wrong, like you can you can backseat me in the comments. But but you need to be sure about it. If you're not sure about it, just just say, don't you think that you could have? Didn't you have this possibility of maybe doing this? And if you're sure, be really sure about it, so you don't embarrass yourselves. But. But yeah, I'm happy to learn. I'm sure you guys can teach me. Look at this. Five, five, five. Oh no, no, it's because I have a long sword already. And this gives movement speed already. So even if you do not have the gold for zeal, you can start moving faster. So of course, when you can afford to go for uh, the movement speed rune. Well, it, having percentage movement speed is even better when you have movement speed on top of that As you wish. Uh. okay 
if I start moving now, I would have my ult by the time I'm there. Okay, nice. Yeah, I was, I was concerned uh, about them contesting Drake or not. I can 1v2, even without ult. Guess I should play when I'm sick more often. But if it's too big of a stomp, we're not gonna be able to test the build. Am I just winning too hard? Nice. Okay, if I take Heralds, I would have the gold for... For PD. I mean, I know that by building Crack and PD, it's like nothing absolutely revolutionary that you never saw in your life before, you know? But what I mean by that is that it might it might be the best way to adapt to the current patch. And Bookup has been having a lot of success. By the way, the games that you saw, like I, I show you an account. It was around Diamond 4, but it's like his last season's uh, GM account and he's playing in GM Challenger games. Like one of the games was against Potent and I mean many other pro players in his games or high elo streamers. So, so yeah, it's most likely not just a meme. Now let's see how fast they move on the map. It's 10% MS. And then of course PD's... Well, PD's passive is pretty... Pretty addictive. Yeah, I just I, I I just wanted to be careful to I don't know like some burst coming my way because I most likely don't have the best reflexes right now. Should have probably used heralds. I need to be careful for s old, even if he most likely used it. Okay, I see everyone. Wee! Boom! Wee! Boom! It's actually pretty fun. Okay, well, I guess I instant have to go for another item. So, third, I mean, am I having a hard time actually dealing my damage? Ah, but I don't have the gold for I eat. It's, it's way too expensive. I can go Rage Blades. Pum pum pum. Okay, let's give me a couple more fights. An enemy has 
Not a big fan of our hard work committing without our fed the cane. But I'm gonna have so much attack speed with PD and and Rage Blade. It's pretty good. It's not it's not completely insane. It's pretty good. Shut down. Zero and six Camille versus five and zero Cain. Ends up with a shutdown. An enemy has been slain. I am your worst nightmare. Just keeping my fury up. Kinda panic ulted. But if I die I give 1k so I kinda not want to give that oh, shit. You're on your own bro. Rather do that. No, no, he killed Hekado. Boop, boop, boop. 2.3 attack speed. I mean, this season has been pretty crazy in terms of AS, so, so I'm not even surprised anymore with having 2.3. I'm here. Okay, well, I guess we stomped a bit too hard. Actually, I had another item in base. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh... it's pretty good okay it was a bit of a um it was a bit of a stomp so maybe not the best example but i mean if you can stomp your games you should stomp them you know uh i mean i may suppose this because at first because i'm really sick and, and just the fact that i was able to record one video is already pretty proud of myself um so yeah we discussed about about that build so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it more uh so what to keep from my thinking and what i've observed from other trainer players and my own experience etc on patch 14.2 in terms of runes the movement speed rune only if you like absolutely need to and you're not gonna pay too much the fact that you don't have the 9 extra adaptive. I'll give you an example, you're facing Vayne Top. You're facing Vayne Top, most likely she's gonna have the MS room. And also it's not like you're gonna go for 
a lot of trades, a lot of fights. Like by the like when you're gonna actually fight Vayne, at that time, it not, it's not gonna matter uh, if you have nine extra AD or not. Uh, but into other champions like Renekton, level one, you wanna fight him. You can actually like beat the Renekton from early on uh, and look to snowball in that matchup. Well, then you want to go adaptive. And you don't want to go MS MS runes, okay? And then uh, you never want to take HP or HP per level on Trinomir because you you are like never gonna be quite full HP and and you're just like it's suboptimal to be full HP on Trinomir because then you're not using your Q and your infinite to stay in. Like your HP bar is actually smaller if it's full if it makes sense. So um, yeah, just always take tenacity and so resistance. And then you don't want to go in flinching anymore, and you can go second wind, revitalize, which is the most consistent, and compensate for the fact that you're lacking magic resist or armor that we used to have. Or, or you can go demolish, or whatever feels right to you. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 about it. And regarding the builds, like PD, PD can fit really well because because its uh, build path is really good, and the spike is also pretty good. Okay, guys, well, that's that's it for today. Uh, next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until next time, guys, good luck and have fun in gaming in real life. Take care, take care of yourselves. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Much love. Bye-bye.